Hello and good morning. Welcome and thank you for tuning in for test day. And as promised, I always like to drop a little something extra uh, just to get your mind thinking, <coughs> excuse me, uh, on the day of the test. So first of all, you'll have to forgive me. I am sick. I'm getting over a cold, but I still wanted to drop this video for you really quickly. So let's hope that my voice holds up. <coughs> so I just want to jump right in and talk to you about averages, uh, specifically averages and how sensitive they are to outliers. So one of the things we use averages for is, is a key performance indicator for things like salary, right? What is the average salary for a position? <clears throat> so you'll notice here we have a bunch of salaries in column G. If I were to simply average these out, I'm going to get sixty-seven thousand five forty, and this is okay. <clears throat> but as we learned in class, averages are sensitive to outliers. And if you just take a, a good look and just give it an eye test, and you look at all the salaries that are in column G, you'll notice that one person has an extremely high salary. And that extremely high salary is going to drive up the average quite a bit. <clears throat> so one thing that we can do while looking at our key performance indicators is we can complete this average while dropping this low or high, in this particular case, value. So there are a couple different ways to do that. And of course, one way would be to just do your average and don't include this first cell. However, what if the highest salary or the outlier salary was not the first cell? What if it was somewhere in the middle of all this data? How would you know? How would you find it? How would you go through and drop it? Well, I want to show you another technique to do that, which would be average if below max. So now you're probably thinking, okay, the average if function, I've seen that before, but I don't know how I would do a below maximum value. So that's what I want to show you. I want to show you how you can use a comparison operator along with the concatenate, concatenate option uh, to create, in a sense, your own below maximum function. So let's jump in and do that before I completely lose my voice for the day. As a matter of fact, after the test today, I will probably redo this video uh, so you can get the, uh, the normal experience. But thanks for tuning in anyway, uh, because I know you guys are looking for a little pep talk this morning before your test start. So let's just jump in and do this. So I'm going to go with the average if function. The first argument for the average if function is range. So the range of the salaries that we're looking at are here. The second thing we have to plug in for this average if function is criteria. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, could I just go through and do less than 550,000? And the answer is yes, if you know that 550,000 is the extreme outlier. If you don't know what it is, then there's no way you would be able to put that in. And by the way, that would actually need to be in double prime quotation marks, just like this, okay? But we can't do that because we wouldn't necessarily know exactly what the extreme outlier is. So what we're going to do is do something slightly different. We're going to tell Excel to just average everything that's below the maximum value. So how do we do that? So I'm going to do double prime. And then I'm going to take my comparison operator and just leave it in the double prime quotation marks just like that. <clears throat> and that's one of the quirky things about the average if count if and sum if functions. Um, if you use a comparison operator or if you use string, aka text, you have to put it in double prime quotation marks. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to modify that below, uh, I'm going to modify this comparison operator by using the concatenate option. And then I'm going to go max. And I'm going to grab all of my salaries again. So now you know from previous videos and lectures that uh, concatenate uh, and I want to do max in caps here, is short for combine. It's not add necessarily. You can't 
uh, if you concatenate numbers, the numbers will all just be lined up in a row. They wouldn't actually add them together in a summary. So when I say concatenate, what it literally does is it's taking that less than comparison operator and it's smushing it with the max function. It's saying below max. Okay. Now that last optional argument I put in is the range. The average range is the same salaries. Oops. Uh, you know what? Let's just do it this way. And look at that. We get 62,295. So let's just look at this for a second and think about it from an analysis perspective. This one person in row two that had that extreme outlier salary compared to everyone else, look at how much that impacted the average of the salaries that were paid out. So without excluding the extreme outlier, our average was 67,540. If we exclude that outlier, look how sensitive the price was. It's a $5,000 difference in average. So this is always something you'd want to pay attention to when you're doing data analysis. Uh, things like average are very, very sensitive to extreme outliers on the high end or the low end, right? If you had zeros, that would bring it down too. Um, and the, one of the lessons that you want to take away from today is that you have the ability to modify <coughs> the average if, count if, or sum if functions by using this comparison operator with concatenation with any basic aggregator like sum, min, max, count. Okay, so in this particular case, just a really quick lesson, average if below max, um, but this would work for a lot of things, count if below max, average if above min, all kinds of things you could do today. Um, so hopefully this technique will be handy for you. I have a really good feeling that it might pop up again later today. So hopefully this helps you guys out. I will probably have no voice by the time I see you guys in class today, but it's test day, so I don't need to talk. So good luck, friends. Happy Halloween. I'll see you guys in a couple hours.